Welcome to our All Age Service for August. How is it August? I believe you if you told me it was May going into June, but I have lost all track of space and time. But I haven't lost track of the fact that you are welcome, whether it's your hundredth time with us or your first. We're continuing in our sermon series on the Psalms, and later on Joy and Sylvia are going to be looking at Psalm 18 with us, the theme, God is our rock. Here's my nearest um, common or garden rock, large, durable, steadfast, you can build on it and it's going to last an eternity. And that's just one of the metaphors that God uses about himself. This is one of the bits from today's psalm. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. For who is God beside the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. And you know me, I don't like to do the same thing twice, so let's mix it up a bit with the liturgy. Please join in with our second line, which is the next verse on in our reading. The Lord lives, praise be to my rock, exalted be God my saviour. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you that we have a lifetime and then an eternity to discover who you are. But today we thank you for the fact that you are our protector, you are our strong fortress, you are the rock on which we can build our lives. Would you help us to discover more about you as we go deeper and go into worship today? Amen. So we're going to begin with a song reminding us at whose name the mountains shake and crumble. Name, the mountains shake and crumble. At your name, the oceans roll and tumble. At your name. Praise you, there's no 
Slides, and I'm the coffee shop manager at Chimes Coffees. I'm Julia Bottomley, and I'm assistant coffee shop manager at Chimes Coffee Shop. So I see a lot of you guys, but for everyone else, can you explain what Chimes is and what it means to you? Um, Chimes is a great place to work. It's uh, it's the heart of the community. It keeps the blood flowing through Hampton, and you know we get to meet lots and lots of different people and. Uh, Often just to a chat, but sometimes uh, people in need come to see us, so we're, we're here as a kind of like an opening to more to help, should we say? Um, it's, it doesn't seem like a job. You know, customers come in and they're more friends than they are customers. Over the, the last few years, we've met so many lovely people that are either mm. connected to the church or are connected to the church, and I think it, um, it's the heart of the community. And so people that would normally come into the church would come in for normally baby and toddler or slimming well. We love what we do. Yeah, it's we just, just we've got it's the ideal, idea. An ideal job for us and probably we, we're kind of right for the community as well. So what does it mean to have a Christian faith and to do what you do? Well, I feel that um, Chimes in itself um, brings life within the building and people can meet each other and get together, create friendships, and we're, a, we're an opening to church as well, to, you know, it's a, a good way in to, to find God. And um, my faith is top of the list of my, my priorities, really. Um, I just, I, I love life, I love people, I want to always help, I don't want anything back in return. It's just, it's about giving, really. Um, I think my faith allows me to connect with people, um, just giving somebody some friendship or a smile when they're having a day when they're not happy or they've got problems um, and hopefully that can just lift their spirits yeah. and um, allow them to feel a little bit happier and we've had that happen before, people have said just your warm welcome and smile from you all has just brought my day up and that's a nice feeling. Amazing. I like to think of Chimes as the fifth emergency service, and we've certainly been that. What prayer requests do you have for either yourself or Chimes? Well, under these current situations, there's a lot of people facing redundancies, um, worries about whether they can put food on the table, not to mention all the people that have been suffering long before we even got into uh, the state of affairs we're in at the moment with COVID. So I just want to be mindful and think and pray that, that people can get through this uh, turbulent time um, and if they need help that we'll be here as a church for them um, just generally to support each other so you know this is what we're here for you know cakes and coffee is just a sideline and I'd like to pray we have, I have some friends um, family that have some health issues that They've been really coping with well with the current situations and that just pray that they can get through them. Okay, let's pray. 
Lord, we give you thanks for everything that Chimes is, what it means to Tony, it, Julia, all of us as a church and as a community. And Lord, we know there are difficult times with regard to jobs and health and so many things. But Lord, as you've blessed us, would you help us to bless others, to be that source of hope and to trust you for your health, your protection and your care. Would you work all things together for good, for the good of those who love you. Amen. Amen. Thanks for being with us guys and we look forward to seeing you very soon in yes. Times Coffee Shop. <laughs> Today we are reading from the selected verses of Psalm 18. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I called to the Lord, she is worthy of praise and I have been saved from my enemies. He reached down on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he was delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanliness of my hands, he has rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I am not guilty of turning from my God. All his laws are before me. I have not turned away from his decrees. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. The Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. Exalted be God, my saviour. He is a God who avenges me, who subdues nations under me. Who saves me from my enemies, you exalted me above my foes. From a violent man you rescued me, therefore I will praise you. Lord among the nations, I will sing the praises of your name. He gives his king great victories. He shows unfailing love to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hi, Joy. Hi, Sylvia. Are you ready? Ready and practicing. Sorry, ready and practicing for what? Well, you remember, have you forgotten? Today, we said we'd meet today to play. Uh, no, we finish our Zoom tournament on... Oh, yeah. Top Trumps. Yes. I so, remember. So, have you been getting the next few extra games in? I've been practising very hard, actually. In fact, I've been playing a few games against David, challenging him a bit, and I have to say to you, Joy, I reckon I'm going to win. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. um, being a little bit competitive there, are we, Sylvia? Well, those kinders are, can be a little bit competitive. Well, I think we better get started then. Um, yeah. Have you remembered um, what the theme is? Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, top trumps, uh, dinosaurs. No. Ah, oh, um, hang on, hang on. Yep, yep, got it. Top trumps, frozen. No, please let it go. Oh. Top trumps. Got it, got it, got it. Famous worship places that Archbishop Desmond Tutu visited when he came to the United Kingdom in 2012. Oh, no. Oh. Top Trump's protection. I'm ready. And I've gone one better than the cards. I've got the actual items. Well, 
if you could see what I've got here under my desk, behind my desk, on my desk, I am so ready for this game I've been practicing. Game on then. First round, protecting your hands and stickers can go first. What right. have we got? Protecting my hands beat this. Oven gloves. I can so beat that. Heavy duty oven gloves. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll give One you one round to me. Um, next part, protecting a part of your body. Ah, uh, gonna win this one. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Shin pads, obviously, to protect my shins. Ooh. A shield to protect wherever I want to protect my head, my shins, my knees, my elbows if I want. Okay, yours again. Um, round three, protecting your ears. Go on, what have you got? I've got earmuffs, I can't hear anything. Aha, aha, aha. I have got Sony earphones padded. They're special, they eliminate all extra sound coming in. Definitely more protection than your earmuffs. Pardon? What? What? <laughs> more protection than your earmuffs. Okay, I do agree. That is definitely around to you. Yes. So yes. round four. Right, okay. Um, protecting your eyes. <gasps> protecting your eyes. Okay, what you got? I have got swing goggles. I've got sunglasses. Ah, come on, they're kids' sunglasses. My swimming goggles have got to beat those. They yeah, give I, protection. I don't think they protect my eyes at all in the sunlight we've got at the moment. No, no. Can we do protecting your head next? Oh, yeah. Show me what you've got then. Right. This is the winner for me. I wouldn't be so sure about that. I have got my all singing, all dancing cycle helmet. Very lovely. But I've got something else. I see your cycle helmet and I raise you a hard hat. I yeah. think I win that round. Okay, okay. My Let's move on. Very good, but I think you win it. Right, okay. What's next? I have got my lipstick. Lipstick? We're not going out for a night out, you know, Sylvia. But nice, moisturising lipstick protects my lips. Oh, uh, I can beat that. I have got coloured lip balm, SPF Factor 15, protects and also colours my lips. Uh, I guess that is much better than my standard lipstick. Yes, I uh, get that one. But what about taking this up another notch? What I about think... body protection? The whole body? Yep. Oh, well, show me what you've got. Right, you just wait a minute. Right, I think I've got my body protection. Are you ready? I've got mine. Ta -da! Look at my body protection. Well, it looks great, but I think my bubble wrap uh, beats your wrapping paper. Uh, you look like you should be under a Christmas tree, Sylvia. I know, but look at that, protecting my whole body, but yeah. Well, you are, but if I was... If I was being posted somewhere, I wouldn't get damaged, would I? Okay, I, I give you that one. Do you know what? I think we've been pretty equal to now. I, I would agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. But I think we sort of need to end this competition with a final round. A final flourish. Let me just get my body protection off. Final round. What's the final category going to be? Um, a protective building. Oh, show me what you've got. Right, you just wait till I find this one. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I've got 
so much stuff under here. What are you doing, Andy? Oh, my study does need tidying up. <laughs> right, here it is, here it is, here it is. Ta-da! Look at this fortress. You cannot get in it on any side. You can't get in it in the top. There's only one way in through the door, but I've got a watchman on the top made this with my fair hands. Get that. Oh, that a fortress? This is a fortress. Oh, look at that fortress. Yeah, I, I can see that that gives more protection than mine. Thank okay, you. okay. I, I think you won it, Joy. Well done. Well, well done to you. Well played, Vita, well played. Well, I'm looking forward to next time. But um, don't, am I? don't you have some filming? Don't you have some filming to do now for your talk? No, I'm just here in that fortress. Oh yeah, I do. I have. I've definitely got to film my talk for, um, for people. Can I suggest something? Um, yeah, yeah, no problem. Suggest away. Um, you might want to take your cycle helmet off. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's not a bad idea. So, um, should we do a, a Zoom goodbye then, Joy? Yeah, bye. 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 How often do we try to make our own fortresses, our own shields to hide behind? We try to protect ourselves. Now, in the current pandemic we're living in, there are practical things we can do and indeed should do to protect ourselves, like regular hand washing, wearing face coverings, keeping social distancing. All those things are good, but they ultimately don't offer us the lifelong eternal protection that we all need. Let's take a look at our psalm to learn more. Of the 150 psalms in the Bible, Psalm 18 is the fourth longest. That's why we only had 15 of the 50 verses read to us today. The genre of our psalm today is one of thanksgiving, written by David, who wanted to express his thanks to the Lord for delivering him from the hands of his enemies and from the hand of Saul, for being his protector. Since he'd been taken from the sheepfold and anointed the future king of Israel, David had lived some 20 years as a fugitive, a man who had lost his safety, lost his youth, his career, his comforts, and yet David was grateful to God that in his timing, God had delivered David and fulfilled the long ago promise of his anointing. Are you waiting for something you believe that God has promised to you? God is faithful and will deliver in his perfect timing. God protected David through his period of waiting. Now God's protection of his people is limitless and it can take many forms. David characterised God's care with five military symbols. God is like a rock that can't be moved by any who would harm us. He's like a fortress or place of safety where the enemy can't follow. He's a shield that comes between us and harm. He's a horn of salvation, a symbol of might and power. He's a stronghold above our enemies. If you need protection, look to God. Verse 16. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep water. Do your troubles, like deep waters, threaten to drown you? David, helpless and weak, knew that God alone had rescued him from his enemies when he was defenceless. When you wish that God would quickly rescue you from your troubles, remember that he can either deliver you or he can be your support as you go through them. Verse 18. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. God's protection is always best. When you feel like you're drowning in troubles, ask God to help you, to hold you, to steady and protect you. God promises to give us strength to meet challenges, but he doesn't promise to eliminate them. If we never had no rough roads to walk, no mountains to climb and no battles to fight, we wouldn't grow. 
God doesn't leave us alone with our challenges. He stand, instead, he stands beside us, he teaches us and he strengthens us to face them. Now, some people think that belief in God is a crutch for weak people who can't make it on their own. God is indeed a shield to protect us when we are too weak to face certain trials by ourselves. But he doesn't want us to remain weak. He strengthens, protects and guides us. He continues to walk with us. He works in us and through us. Because the strongest person on earth is infinitely weaker than God and needs his help. David wasn't a coward. He was a mighty warrior who, even with all his armies and weapons, knew that only God could ultimately protect and save him. Jesus went to the cross so that anyone who turns to him as Lord and Saviour can know his protection forever in this life and the next. He watches over us always, both day and night. The next song we can join in with talks about God being our shield and protector, reassuring us that we can rest in his presence. The song is signing to accompany it. I encourage you to join in with signing the words as well as singing them. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God. After each short prayer, I will say, Lord, in your mercy, could you reply, hear our prayer. Lord, as we come to you this morning, we pray for hope in an uncertain world. We thank you, Lord, that you are near to us at all times, no matter what each day brings. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and to find in him hope for each new day. Lord, 
in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all who are feeling lost, lonely, afraid or uncertain what the future holds for them. We bring to you all who are anxious about their job security or financial situation. We pray especially for our young people, for graduates, for school leavers waiting for exam results, that they might put their hope in you as they try to find the way ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, please be very close to the broken-hearted, to those who mourn the loss of a loved one, and to those who struggle to recover from the virus. In the midst of their suffering, would you give them hope and peace? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. As we give you thanks, Lord, for all the help we have received from frontline workers in this country, we pray for countries struggling to cope with the disease, with very limited health care and in the face of poverty, overcrowding and poor sanitation. Please encourage with your hope those who work to relieve suffering under such difficult circumstances. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we praise and thank you for your love for each and every one of us. By your death and glorious resurrection, you give to all who turn to you the joy of forgiveness and the hope of your presence, both now and for all eternity. Please help us to make your love known by the lives we live, by the words we speak, and by the prayers we breathe. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. And now let us all join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your, your name. name. Your, your kingdom come, come. Your, your will, will be, be done, done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our sins, as we, we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So because we've been all together today, there won't be a separate children's and families video, although there will be a short craft tutorial up now on YouTube. And for our youth, there won't be an Insta Live, but there will be videos on both Insta and YouTube at 11 o'clock for them. But of course, it's first Sunday, so it's Zoom Coffee Week. We are really looking forward to seeing as many of you as possible at 10.40 and we'll go on to about 11.30 today. If you don't get our emails but would like to, please drop us a line at office at cskhampton.church. And we look forward to seeing you virtually very soon. So let's pray. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you, encircle you, protect you and be with you always. Amen. So we've looked at some of the Lord's promises today and let's go out reminding us of that truth, that all his promises are yes and amen.